So how to post process the picture that you took and where you use your flash, whether it's speed light or on camera pop up flash, we'll be discussing it right now. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to New Peaks World on how to be better photographers by sharing experiences and mistakes. And today we'll be discussing about how to post process the pictures that you took with your flash. Now, whether you're using the speed light onto your camera or off of your camera or the pop up flash, what you usually end up having it's a little bit of unbalanced situation. And we discussed about it in the last video and i also gave you some suggestions such as like move your shutter speed and decrease the shutter speed so that you can increase a little bit the ambient light in your picture but still when you do that if your venue is pretty dim you almost always end up with unbalanced pictures meaning your subjects they are very nicely lit because of your flash but the whole room and what's behind in your subject meaning your background it's pretty deep. Now in this video I'll show you how to kind of fix this in post process and have a more balanced and organic situation. So let's jump into Lightroom. And here we are back in Lightroom and now we will review a couple of pictures that I had an event. I was shooting for this grand opening of a department and basically we were having an after party in a very dim location. They had some nice catch lights like this red accent lights but still the overall exposure of the room was pretty dark so I had to mount my external speed light on the hot shoe on my camera and go with it. I was in detail mode so the flash would just automatically calculate how much light it had to provide in order to light up my subjects and I was in spot metering. However I first set up the exposure for the environment as I told you in the previous video about flash photography because we don't want to have a very unbalanced situation where our subjects are very nicely lit and everything else is pitch dark so what I was having was ISO 500 I had to bump up the ISO then I was having f4 just because I didn't want to have a very shallow depth of field where only a tiny part of the image would be in focus and everything else would be blurred because I was sure I was having a little bit of group shots at least two or three people into the composition and so I wanted to make sure that at least two of them were a little bit sharp like in this case uh, and then I was having one thirty of a second just because as I told you by decreasing the shutter speed when you use flash you are increasing the amount of ambient light that you let into the sensor and then you have a more balanced image but since you're using a flash that will freeze motion giving you still sharp images even at very low shutter speeds like 130. So this is a very good starting point but now let's imagine that we want to balance it even more. So what we're gonna do we have to increase the exposure of the room while keeping the skin tones nicely exposed and as you can see the skin tones are merely governed by the highlight slider. Look how little the room changes and how much the skin tone changes if I play with this slider while on the opposite the shadows are mainly into the room so if I bump up the shadows the skin tones are not gonna be affected that much but everything else into the room will become lighter now look at the roof up here how dark can I make it or how bright can I make it just by changing the shadow so what we're gonna do we're gonna bump up the shadows to light up the room we're gonna diminish the skin tone exposure and then since now the skin tones are a little bit underexposed I will bump up the exposure of the overall image by the general exposure slider until I think I'm fine with it. Now this is a matter of personal taste and you have to decide how much you're gonna push this. Uh, still you can reduce the black, add a little bit of contrast because what we have done is taking out a little bit of contrast but still now if you look at before and after check how more balanced and nice the image is. You kept your skin tones nicely exposed, but the room now is much, much brighter. Now my take on this picture was actually this, where I also added some grading. Uh, I didn't like the clothes to be pitch black, so I added some blues and some highlights. But basically that's how you do it. If you wanna bump up the environment, just increase the shadows. If you wanna decrease the skin tones because maybe your subjects are a little bit too bright, just decrease the highlights and then you govern the overall exposure with the exposure slider. And basically that's it. I did the same over here for example. 
for these other people. You can see bumping up the shadows, decreasing the highlights, and then pushing a little bit the overall brightness, and then adding a little bit of contrast, clarity, vibrant saturation, and so on. But basically, that's how you balance the things out. Increase the environment by bumping up the shadows, adjust the skin tones by decreasing the highlights, and then fine-tune it with the exposure slider. And that's it. And here we are at the end of the video, and this was a trick that I learned while I was doing, actually, uh, the photo shoot, and it all comes down to just think what is the light into your picture. And so just remember, if you want to balance the image, increase your shadows, decrease your highlights, and then fine-tune it with the exposure tab, and you should be good to go. Now, if you like what I'm doing, put a thumbs up to the video, comment down in the comment section, tell me, do you have any other tricks to post-process your flash photography or do you struggle with other kind of problems when you deal with flash? And uh, subscribe to the channel if you aren't yet and if you like what I'm doing and please remember to shoot, learn and improve because this is what we make on Upix, that's what makes us better photographers always. I hope you stick around, until next time, take care. Finger.